Hello and welcome back to the course on Power BI. In the previous tutorial, we connected to our data sets and joined them. So if we go to the uh, relationships, we'll see that we've got the join and the joins performed. Um, if we click manage relationships, join is performed on the order ID. And today we're going to create our first map. Uh, very exciting uh, tutorial ahead. So let's get started. So the type of map we're going to create is uh, this one, just a simple map. There's also the other option, the filled map. Uh, we want a bubble chart on our map or uh, circles on our map. So we're going to select this map. All right. And now uh, what we want to do is we want to fill this map um, using the geographical information contained here. So first things first, we're going to create a hierarchy. We're going to uh, take, uh, we'll start with state and we'll drag it on top of country and that will create a hierarchy, uh, country hierarchy here. So we can uh, rename this hierarchy, right click and we can call it uh, geography. And as you can see, um, this created a hierarchy where we've got country and then we've got state under it. Now I'll show you another way to do this. I'm just going to delete this. Uh, another way to do the same procedure is to right click your field, country in this case, and say new hierarchy. And that also creates a hierarchy, except this time there's only one element in it for, for now. We're just also gonna call it geography. And now we're going to add the other elements. So we're going to add state into this uh, hierarchy. So just drag it on top of geography, and then we're going to add city. And so if you got them in the wrong order, you can always move them around, but just uh, make sure that it makes sense in which order they are. So here, country, state, and city. Now we have another geographical uh, element, which is region, but in reality, region is kind of a um, an, a element that we've come up with just for this data set. It's not something that's um, recognized and it could be different in different, um, uh, it could be different uh, in uh, different um, interpretations. So if we just have a look at it, here, so list of orders, you'll see that region is like central or east, west, and so on. So uh, this is not something that's usually recognized by business intelligence tools. So we're not going to use this in our geography. All right, so there's our hierarchy. Now we're going to drag hierarchy onto the location and that uh, creates this map. And now I'm going to show you something uh, interesting. So right now we've got these countries and uh, it is correct, we are working in Europe. Now, however, if I start drilling down, so I want to expand the hierarchy to the next level, uh, to the state level. Let's give it a second to think about what's going on. Um, again, this, uh, like what, what you are seeing here is that uh, nothing really happened. The states, it, we're looking at country and state, but we're still seeing only one uh, element. Actually, in fact, there are several circles. You can tell by the darkness of the circle that there's several of them under each other, but they're just all being plotted in the same spot. And also, if I expand to the city level, you'll see that some of our cities end up in America because uh, they are, are cities with the same names in uh, the US. So basically, what this is showing us is that uh, there are some inefficiencies still in the way these uh, maps and hierarchies work in Power BI. And as always, Power BI are constantly working on these things and improving all the time. So maybe even when you're watching this video, uh, these um, slight issues have been resolved. But for now, the safest way to deal with maps, especially um, maps where we were trying to plot like a scatter plot or portray some information at not just the country level but at the city or state level the best way to go about it is to use latitude and longitude and we've got the latitude and longitude inside this data set so let's go ahead and use them i'm going to go back to uh, the highest level so uh, the country level and now i'm just going to take latitude and drag it onto the latitude field and longitude onto the longitude field. Now, if we look in the data set, latitude and longitude are given to us for every single row, meaning so that this transaction was uh, performed in Denmark, Copenhagen, right? So uh, therefore that's the latitude and longitude. And this uh, transaction was performed in Spain and so on. So um, when you do it at a country level, naturally it has to take the average and just look out for that. So 
sometimes you might have a country uh, which has a weird shape and then your rows or your transactions in that country um, uh, were conducted in certain cities that this average might actually fall outside of the country and fall into another country. So you have to look out for that. In that case, you might want to use something like the median of the latitude and longitude so that it's not that affected by outliers. I find that when you use the median, it is better aligned with the capital of the city somehow. So you've got Stockholm, you know, Helsinki, uh, Oslo, and so on. So you can see that it's it's actually falling in some countries, not in all. So here in Italy, for instance, not falling in Rome. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to press Control Z and just leave it at average. But look out for that. Um, just find the best approach for your specific situation. So there we go. That's um, how we've uh, created this map. Now, what you'll see is if we drill further down, now at the state level, we've got all the states. So for instance, in France, we've got all these uh, states popping up and if for again for each state uh, the location of this bubble is given by the average of the latitude and longitude for the uh, transactions that happened in that uh, state and then if we go further down to the next level you can see again we've got even for the cities we've got all the latitude and longitude correct and, and this time it's uh, spot on because um, if a certain number of transactions happen in the same city, they'll have the same latitude and longitude, and therefore the circle will be exactly on that city. So that's how we create um, a map with uh, our hierarchies. And now we can just go back up, so probably not at that level. That's probably not the best. Um, so yeah, there's still a couple of things to look out for, and hopefully uh, maps will improve. Power BI are constantly improving their product and hopefully maps will improve with time. Uh, but if you can get a latitude and longitude, uh, it's often not that hard to find those um, uh, parameters based on your data set. It's always a good idea to just add them in and uh, like be on the safe side and also look out for the average and the median and those things that we discussed. So there we go, that's our first step to creating our map and uh, solving this challenge. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy analyzing.